Good morning, Dr. Can you please introduce yourself? I'm Charles Savoldelli. I'm oral maxillofacial in Nice, France. Uh, I work in a uh, university at the Neck Surgery uh, Institute and I'm associate professor uh, in the uh, University School of Medicine of Nice. How long have you been using a Mac computer surgery for? I tried for the first time uh, the piezo surgery in 2009 and I have gradually used to introduce it in uh, my daily practice in 2013. What may you change from traditional rotating and oscillating tools to piezo surgery? I used for the first time for um, technical consideration. So I mean my main activity and uh, my main field in oral and maxillofacial surgery is orthognatic surgery. And I have gradually used and increasingly used a uh, guide with a surgical plane. And the surgical uh, guide helped me to uh, have better results. But my conventional tool as uh, the reciprocity so uh, not be able uh, to perform it. So I've searched for a new tool uh, with a thickness uh, which permits me and uh, to cut the bone and to follow the guide into the groove of the guide and it's not really easy with conventional tool. So I try it but I, I have seen all the advantages uh, fastly of uh, the piezo surgery. In details, which procedures are you using for? Um, most of bone cutting in all and maxillofacial surgery, especially in orthognatic surgery and all procedure in orthognatic such as uh, uh, maxilla osteotomy, all the quadrangular osteotomy of the maxilla, for one, for two, uh, bilateral sagittal split osteotomy, uh, sliding, sliding genoplasty, uh, eye oblique osteotomy and chin wing uh, genoplasty for the orthognatic surgery. But I used it for distraction osteogenesis when you have bone cutting. Uh, orthodontic corticotomies, uh, rhinoplasty, uh, forehead uh, osteotomy for the upper third uh, of face recontouring and all the procedure to harvest bone for bone graft of the facial skeleton. Thinking about your patients, which are the main intraoperative and postoperative advantages you have observed for them? Oh, the main advantage is during the intraoperative time, I think, is the um, high accuracy of bone cutting with less bone loss. And that permits to avoid uh, some bone segment contact not really expecting during surgery. And in orthognatic surgery, it's very important because when you move and you displace a skeletal piece, you need to have a good contact between piece and for the patient uh, and the occlusion of the patient is very, really important. And post-operative, sure, uh, there is less uh, pain less swelling in post-operative and especially for BSSO, uh, better recovery of uh, the lower lip and shine sensibility is very, very important. Is there any disadvantage in using piezo surgery in your opinion? Most of surgeons, when they try for the first time uh, piezo surgery, uh, have one criticism is the speed and it's slower than comparing um, traditional tools but um, when you have of maybe in orthognatic surgery 10 patients of learning curve and you master uh, an insert I think uh, you don't waste a lot of time uh, maybe for a procedure uh, of BSSO you, you waste 10 minutes but uh, comparing all the advantages than the traditional tools, I prefer use piezo surgery device. And uh, how long did you take to master the technology and fully understand how to use the devices? Not a long uh, learning curve. I think it's difficult to master uh, not the technology but all the inserts because Mectron uh, develop a lot of different inserts and I uh, used for each procedure the same uh, insert and I can master it uh, for uh, orthognatic surgery, 10 patients maybe. Uh, it's not very difficult but you have uh, obviously a learning curve to understand you don't have to apply high pressure 
on the bone and uh, it's very short to, to, to learn how do we use uh, this device. Is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, yes, I'm very glad to use the Piezo uh, Mectron uh, device, but uh, it's not for uh, only my comfort consideration. Uh, that's important, but I, I really think there is better results for, uh, for the patient. And uh, it's very wonderful to get the paradigm shift in our daily practice in surgery, but sometimes you must have to be a little bit patient. Thank you, doctor, for your time. Thank you.